Hello from outside the lovely City Hall of Dublin. It's a bit windy today, so sorry if there's a bit of background noise. So City Hall is where we begin our Georgian coffee house tour and tasting experience. Georgian, if you uh, are not sure of the term, refers to a time when there were four kings and they were all called George. Uh, it's a time when Dublin was the second city of the British Empire and it began in 1714 and ran on until 1830, so a very long period of time. So Georgian Dublin wasn't a very fair time. If you weren't white, Protestant, male and wealthy, you really didn't get in or get on. So we're at the front of this building now and the reason why we begin here isn't because it's now the City Hall or that it formerly was the Royal Exchange but because this was originally a coffee house owned by a Mr. Lucas, Charles Lucas and this was one of the liveliest coffee houses in all of Dublin. This is where all the duelling happened and a lot of meetings happened because down the road, at the end of this road, you can't see with the sun, that was where the Parliament of Dublin was located. So we begin here at the front steps and behind us, that's all Parliament Street and then down here, that's all Dame Street. This is the centre of activity in the 1700s. Uh, so what else happened in coffee houses? Loads of stuff. Loads of stuff you wouldn't believe it. So here we are just behind at the, at the uh, square side. It's called Bernardo Square side. And if you find you're a little bit early for going Georgian, the coffee and tea history of Dublin, you can come here and you'll be able to have a coffee and uh, there's a free exhibition of the life of Dublin. So why were coffee houses important? This is where everybody networked and found out what was happening in Dublin because information was really, really hard to come by. And uh, just behind, you'll be able to see this building just behind me. It's there, that is the entrance or part of the entrance to Dublin Castle. So this was where all the information was shared. People had a coffee and then we'll do a tour for about an hour and then we go and we check what Georgian coffee actually tasted like. Coffee was super duper expensive so uh, some of the coffee house owners managed to uh, put extra ingredients in to bulk it out so the task is to taste whether it's coffee or it's coffee substitute. Come on tour and find out more.